I'm really pleased with the way that my wisteria has grown uh, and I'm training it up over its support so I hopefully will eventually get it to spread over the support and be drenched in flowers one day but it's settled in really quickly uh, and it's even produced some really good flowers this year so there are some parts that I will prune during the summer months uh, and then there are some that I will just prune back again in the winter so that's the key to success with wisteria a couple of times a year uh, it needs pruning. Now the shorter stumpier flowered growths you can see where the growth has been attached here on the end this um, is where the flower was at the end of this shoot these shorter shoots really with the close spacing between the buds are the ones to leave unpruned because they hopefully will carry on in that vein of producing flowers so the only thing I'm likely to do here is just to prune off the flower tip where the flower was attached on the tip of that shoot and leave all the rest of the buds uh, attached but it's the long whippy growths like this one that I want to prune back wisteria makes around sort of up to three meters of growth if you're not careful if it's really happy uh, these are about a meter and a meter and a half long uh, and these will just carry on growing and growing now that's fine if I want to train it up over its support in its early years but once I've got an established wisteria then I want to prune back all those long whippy growths to encourage the plant to produce more in the way of flower buds. So I'm going to trace back down this whippy growth right down to the base where it started into growth earlier this year and then you can see where the leaves are attached along the length of the stem. I'm going to prune back to two, three or even four buds from the base of where that started and it's really crucial to cut at an angle uh, above the bud that you're going to prune back to I'm pruning to about the third bud above where this growth started uh, prune it back there uh, and then take that whippy growth away and you'll find that that will compost really easily now there is another one here that's growing from lower down on the plant this whippy growth that is down here I'm going to prune back again so I'm taking them down to about four buds from the base of the shoot take out the pruned off growth and you can see there we are there's another meter or so of growth taken out uh, and then here is another one um, down here that we can do the same thing with again pruning back to around three or four buds from the base and that will encourage all those low buds that are left there, encourage them to be flushed with potash, which will move slowly up through the plant during the rest of the summer. And that should flush those buds and encourage them to turn into flower buds. So get on with pruning your wisteria now and hope for more flowers in years to come.